Good morning. It's a ridiculously early start for me this morning. It's just gone four o'clock. And um, what's going to be a very, very long day. Um, I'm on my way to, uh, well, eventually to Machantle. And I'm going to be doing the uh, Traus Arari Trail. There's the new route that's been devised by Cycling UK and goes across the whole of Snowdonia. So I will be getting to Machantleth. I start from there, finishes in Conwy. Uh, I've got to get there to the start and back though. So yeah, I'm on my way. First of all, first stop, Aberystwyth. So it's part one done. Made it to Aberystwyth. Got a few minutes now till the, till the train to Machantleth and then start in Trousserurri. So the so the name is, is a Welsh word, Trous is across, Arari is Snowdonia, so across Snowdonia. Uh, Cycling UK, the same people who brought the uh, King Alfred's Way route, have, um, have created this. It's not waymarked, it's just uh, sort of on the ground, the follow GPX. Takes you through Snowdonia, 194Ks, just over 4,000 metres of climbing. And um, I think it's designed for a mountain bike, although there's been some talk about it being fine for a gravel bike. Uh, today I'm just riding the route. Uh, it's not an FKT attempt or anything like that. Uh, the only thing for me is I've got to get there before the last train which is half past six tonight which give should give me just over like 12 and a half hours. So uh, looking forward to, to seeing it. Hopefully the weather's good because uh, it's North Wales and uh, I think any sort of weather could uh, could be possible up there. So this is Machantle, or Mach for short. So it's time to, to get started from here. Um, yeah, best not waste too much time. So I probably shouldn't be too surprised. This is Wales. Started raining almost as soon as I started. Uh, even more so because this is, I'm in uh, Corris. This is the wettest place in Wales. One of the wettest in Britain. Forecast was mixed. So, uh, yeah, I've come prepared. I think it's supposed to brighten up later. So on the first really big climb of the route, I think it takes me up to the highest point on the whole thing. It's a... Uh, a really long drag seven and a half k uh, it's all well, i think it's all on tarmac but it's a dead end uh in terms of the tarmac so your yeah, chances of seeing anything are very slim uh, yeah still got my jacket on because i'm about to go into the clouds stop raining though uh, and i'm hoping the views open up after the top because the section looking down towards Dog Etla is, is really nice. But, uh, get this one done.
Well, that's uh, a little toll bridge that you cross. So I'll bring 30 pence with you. <laughs> Although I think you can even pay by card. And uh, yeah, that comes off the Mauda Trail. Uh, it's just started raining again, it's typical. If you're, if you're doing this over multiple days or if you've got time to go a bit further out, then head to Dog S. Like, it's a bit of a diversion, but nice town. Plenty of uh, places to grab some food and restock. But I've got enough for now. Uh, I think I might have to put my jacket back on. That's typical. And I've got a big climb. No, next big climb. And I think that takes me into Coyder Brennan. So I'm just under 70 k in. This is Coyder Brennan. Um, useful place to stop. It's got a bike shop, cafe. Um, yeah, so I think uh, I haven't checked the route that closely from here. I'm not sure if, uh, if it's using any of the mountain bike trails. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people know it. Any mountain bikers will know this place. Uh, it's a real shame that the weather's like this. Uh, I was expecting it myself, but I know that there's some fantastic views, big mountains. So those big blocks over there, Strauss Vanir, uh, decommissioned nuclear power station. Well, I think we go past it. So I am in Penmachno. So I stopped here to take my jacket off for goodness knows I'm fourth time now maybe. Uh, this is the start of another trail centre. So uh, I've ridden here before, there's some nice red trails here. Um, although I don't think this route uses any of the mountain bike trails. Uh, Carter Brennan, there's nothing. So um, yeah, I think from here. There's another fair climb, but I don't think it's quite as savage as what's gone before. Um, yeah, uh, there's no facilities in this one. Um, so the next point to, to grab anything is going to be better to coid. I think that's another maybe 20 k's. The weather's opened up just a touch, brightening up. Clouds are lifting. I'm up about 400 meters now and no cloud, or well, not in the cloud then. Still in Penmachno. 115 k is done. And uh, yeah, a lot of this now I'm not sure of. This is further north than I normally ride, so probably quite a lot of new stuff, uh, hopefully to enjoy. So this is better to coin. It's uh, further into the route than I thought. So I'm 142 k's in. Um, about 50 ish left. It's the only major town on the route um, that you can refuel. So I'd, anyone, anyone riding it, make the most of it. So I picked up enough and. Uh, yeah, I know I've got a fairly decent climb. Well, there's lots of climbing, it just seems to be climbing constantly up to Kapokirik now. So this is a section I'm really looking forward to. I've not ridden this before. So uh, just past Kapokirik. And I know that uh, it's just really nice scenery around here, kind of going to be coming up. Um, alongside Travan, one of the most spectacular mountains in Wales in Snowdonia. Uh, yeah, 
it's a long gradual climb um, I think it's like this but uh, yeah the weather's opened up and uh, overall it's, uh, it's looking like a much better day So I'm in, uh, in Conway, job done. Uh, finished 10 hours, 41 minutes, uh, 198 kilometers, I think. Um, yeah, all, uh, all seemed to go okay. The, apart from the last sort of five, 10 Ks, it was a bit boggy. And um, other than that, fine, the weather's improved and it's really nice here now. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna go and grab some food and then probably do a bit of an update and and more sort of stats on the route uh, after that. And so just to give an idea of the route, overall, um, I really like it. It's uh, it's a nice mix. Um, it's a shame about the, the weather I had uh, at the start, just because the views, I know the views are really nice, but um, otherwise, you know, the, the tracks and the trails are good. The exception of that one boggy section towards the end, um, I guess that one section you can you can sort of give it for that. Um, in terms of bike, uh, a lot of people said there's a lot of road. There there is some, but uh, it's all sort of back lanes. Uh, I think potentially if someone's looking for the, a really fast time, a gravel bike with a decent sized tire could could be fastest. But for me, I mean, I was really happy on that. Uh, yeah, sort of mountain bike for me, like a cross country mountain bike was was fine. I enjoyed it. Um, one sort of, sort of slight disappointment with the route is that it, it's classed as a mountain bike route, but then you go and pass these um, uh, trail centres and missing the whole um, yeah every part of the trail centre, which yeah it's a bit of a shame. Um, it would potentially be an option, I think, if if people wanted to bike pack it over more days, uh, find some places to stop by the by the trail centres, and then sort of do those, and then pack back up. You know, take all the stuff off, do the trail centres, and head off onto the next one. Do that over maybe three four days. I think that could be a really good trip. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, there's there's plenty of places to to stay along the route. I've noticed there's lots of places with camping signs. I think while camping you're gonna to need to be a little bit careful because um, I know I've had issues with one one place. So it's just um, yeah, just be a little bit careful if you're planning on on um, on while camping. Um, but yeah, in terms of gravel bike or mountain bike, you you'll get through you'll ride it on both. A mountain bike is faster on some of the descents, um, but there's enough uh, easier stuff that the, the gravel bike will sort of catch up time wise. But um, yeah, I mean, cross country mountain bike would probably be my my personal choice. And um, yeah, I'll put a load more info into the description with uh, things that might be useful for people. Uh, just because there's not many places to stop and to top up, so um, just things things on that where you can um, stock up on food and things. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been good to get back on the mountain bike. Uh, it hasn't been used much this year, and um, good luck to anyone else who who goes on to attempt this route. I uh, hope you enjoy it as much as I did.